Hey guys, Tomasta, Jardis here, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to share to you something that I have got from last December sale, my TKL mechanical keyboard, HS K870T. In this video, I hope I would be able to give you guys few things to consider when purchasing a new keyboard, well, a mechanical one, and also give you guys the tips that I have acquired along the way when I purchased this specific keyboard online. So, without further ado, let's do this! Just a backstory, this isn't my first mechanical keyboard, but in fact, it is my second one since that I have one for work, which is a Keychron K1V4. It is a 104 key layout that is good for working since that we always do use the numpad for everyday tasks. So yes, the December sale that I have mentioned earlier is the 12-12 sale. A 12-12 sale is like a one-day sale that happens monthly here in Southeast Asia wherein most of the e-commerce platform sites participate. If you were going to ask me why did I purchase this specific keyboard, I would give you 8 reasons why. Number 1 is it is affordable. I was able to get this at a very still price. SRP for this is 2,500 pesos but I got this at only 1,900 pesos. 2. There are wide range of mechanical switch selection available for this specific keyboard. There are red switches, blue switches, brown switches which I currently have and black switches. It is a TKL mechanical keyboard layout. So basically, it is a 104 key layout. It doesn't have the numpad, but keeping the same layout, which is the spacing, the division for the function keys or the F keys, and the navigation keys. Fourth, it has the RGB lighting. I mean, who doesn't want RGB lighting? Even one single light is a great one, but RGB lighting is a great addition for this keyboard. Fifth, this has a Bluetooth 3.0 which is able to connect to up to 3 different devices and can work wirelessly and wired. Sixth, it is a Type-C connection keyboard so everything should be on Type-C nowadays. Seventh, it is on LASMOL. Always go for LASMOL. Always choose LASMOL. Why? They always carry legit items. They carry items very carefully and it got a lot of discounts. It, it is convenient, it can be purchased locally, and it will be delivered to you immediately. This one is right on my doorstep, 36 hours right after I have placed my order online. So let's now move with the unboxing, well technically, re-unboxing. Right in front of the box, you will see the image of the keyboard that you will be getting from the inside. The brand's name, the model name along with the short description of the keyboard, the compatibility between Windows and Mac OS, few icons here with Chinese wordings which unfortunately we can read but thankfully we have Google Lens to help us with this. Let me show you how. You have to open your Google Lens, switch to translate, then just show it to the camera. Then we will notice that the wordings will now the wordings will now show in English, which is the first one, the mechanical axis, referring to the stabilizer and the stem. 
the glowing characters or the double shot keycaps high and low key design which is the ergonomic design of the keycaps and the two shot injection which describes the keycaps the top side and the sides will only show you the description or the same items that you will see from the front and also the collaboration with the Nacodex. Right at the back, you will see the technical specifications, same in Chinese. And the image of the keyboard from a different angle. Since this box still got the Chinese wordings, let's use the Google Lens to understand what are being described on the technical specifications. Now you will see that we have the 2000 milliamp battery. The connection is USB Type-C. It can be used wired and wirelessly. The dimensions, the weight, the 1.6 millimeter rated USB Type-C cable, RGB lighting with 18 lighting effects, the description of the keyboard's layout which is the 87 key compact and TKL and the system requirements which is basically the compatibility of the keyboard. Opening the box, it will welcome you with the keyboard itself in protective cover. Let's set this keyboard aside for a while. A manual, which is in Chinese and English. Please do note that you need to keep this keyboard since that it has a lot of function keys that is very useful and hard to remember. For the accessories, we got the white braided USB Type-C, extra keycaps in PBT with colors which is a good thing since that Aegis was able to give us few customizations right out of the box. A plastic key cup puller which I don't usually use since that I feel like it will break the key cups or the stems of the switch right beside of the key. I would suggest everyone to use this kind of key cup puller since that it it is safer and it is much more faster when pulling a key cup. Then nothing more. For the keyboard itself. It is way heavier than my Keychron K1 V4 which has a numpad and a metal body. It is very surprising that this keyboard has a very heavy feel and very premium quality build. The keycaps are ABS, however it doesn't feel cheap and doesn't leave oils dirt when you are using it. It seems like they have placed a great texture on the keycaps which makes 
feel premium and very nice when using. There are two LED lights here, two new buttons, and also a scroll wheel which I will be mentioning or discussing later about that. Right on top, you will get the USB Type-C connection port. Nothing on the sides. And branding on the bottom. Right on the back, you will get the four rubber feet and a kickstand. Which is a great one since that not all of us is comfortable or used to with the keyboard flat on the table. You will also see the sticker of the keyboard's specification or the model and the switch for turning it on or off. For me personally, I don't like the keyboard power switch since that it doesn't give you any tactile feedback if you are going to turn it on or off or any loud sound indicating that it is already on or off. Also, it displays on a very oddly location since that, since that we don't like to turn our keyboard around from time to time. For you to understand what I am trying to mention about the power switch, let me give you guys an example. What's great about this keyboard is that it gives you the capability to customize your lighting effect by, the brightening, by increasing the brightness, changing the color, or the direction of the animation.
As I mentioned, the switch that comes with this exact keyboard is a brown switch and it is worth to mention that the switch that comes with this model is branded. The brand's name is Wano and this can be remembered to be famous as a mouse switch. What's great about brown switches is that it has 60 grams of actuation force and it doesn't produce loud noise like the ones on the blue. Let me give you guys an idea with a quick sound test. So that ends my video. I hope I was able to help you guys on your next purchase of keyboard. There are a lot of things that I haven't mentioned yet. Let me know if you love, like, hate, or dislike my video. Comment down below your thoughts about this. And see you on my next video. Goodbye!